Hello, Greg Veach here again with another tip on assistive technology. I found a great uh, site here called SpellingCity.com. If you go there, you'll have a great spelling program. So www.spellingcity.com. When you register, um, you'll be able to do several things. You can start by typing in words for a spelling list. And what this website does for free is allow students be tested, it allows them to be taught, and it allows them to play a game. So really you want to teach, you want them to play with the words, and finally to test. It's fun, it's easy, and easy for you to create. Uh, I'm logged in already, so I can look at um, um, my home page. Alright, I'm at Johnson City Intermediate School, and I am one teacher here, Greg Veach. When I go to my site, I can I created a list for you, uh, a demonstration list. So I use number words. Don't know if you can see all that, but basically number one was one, number two was two, so on and so forth up to ten. Now I could take a test, I could be taught, and I could play. So how about we get taught first? Here's what happens. All right, we click to start. Get my speaker ready here. I'm going to click to start. One. O N E one one plus zero equals one one. You type in a word from your spelling list. It will say the word, spell the word, put it in a sentence, and repeat the word. Very nice. I could also get taught different words on the list, like this one. Four F O U R four two plus two equals four four. That's great for a student who might need that kind of teaching, but we could also enjoy a game. So with this spelling list, I can play many games, like a word search, or match, or hang mouse. Some of them you can even print. Let's try one right now called hang mouse. All I have to do is start putting in words, I guess. It's kind of a, a game like hangman. That can be one. Be the word for two. No, nope. no, it's not two either. Um, ah, so I'm guessing it's number six. And there we go. I win. All right. That's just one example. Games to play, and finally, I can also uh, go back and I can probably take a test, right? So why don't we do that? I'll get tested. Get ready for the test. Don't peek at your list. Begin. Okay, for the first one, one. They want it's one. So I might type in the word. If I don't know what the word was, I can ask for it in a sentence. One plus zero equals one. Let's hear the second one. Two. Okay. If the student needs it to hear it again, Two. there you go. So on and so forth. And when I'm done, click check me. And I've got two correct and eight wrong. You can get a report printed out by putting in your name. And there you have it, spellingcity.com. It's free. Give it a try. Any questions, just let me know. See you next time for the next tip on technology.